Hey guys, hey, it's me, Jimmy Lou, with the Messy Craft Corner. Hello, hello. You guys, I, I've misplaced my drum. My little drum for the drummer drumming. It's here on the table somewhere. I've been saving it and saving it, and you know what? I just, I've misplaced it. So, uh, we've been working for the past 12 days on this amazing journal, the 12 Days of Christmas journal. And I'm super excited that today is the last day. Today's the last day. This this book will then become an auction. It'll be up for grabs at auction. I'm excited about it. I think you guys are excited about it. And today, I'm going to tell you that on Friday in the Shopify, we're going to have some small accessory kits. The, see how I did that? Accessory kits. And those accessory kits are going to include things like a rusty jingle bell, five pieces of chain, a piece of um, ribbon tied to a bow, wooden, uh, wooden, doo -doo -doo, a snowflakes, uh, some of this holly stuff, a slice of this uh, kitty cat stuff. Uh, so anything that I used for the 12 days, uh, these little die cuts, we're going to put into a kit. And on Friday in the Shopify, you'll be able to make a purchase and purchase. What? Why Friday? Because I'm waiting for these little wreaths to come from the supplier. As soon as they get here, we'll be able to bundle them all up and get them hopping for you. So what is today's freebie? What is today's freebie? Okay, so today, I think today is a good one. Today's freebie is going to include something we're going to add onto our pieces here. So in order to get today's freebie, all you got to do is order a 12 days of Christmas kit from today. And you're going to get a piece of um, this sorry silk, uh, not sorry, seam binding, sorry silk seam binding, whichever it is. You're going to get a yard of it, okay? So you can use it for this book. You can use it for any book. It doesn't really matter, but you're going to get a yard. That's that's a yard right there. And then I fold my yard in half. Here's what we're going to do. And then we're going to, we're going to tie it on here. We're going to tie them onto our piece right here at the top. We're going to put one at the top. We're going to put one at the bottom. And then we're going to put something on it yet, you guys, because I'm excited to do this. <laughs> I am. I can't help myself. All right. Where is my closure? Uh oh, my closure. I pulled it open, you guys. Yikes. Hang on. Book down, book down. You can do that, guys. Don't do not do what Jimmy Lou did. Um, Jimmy Lou just accidentally... When I went to pull it apart, I yanked it. And when I did, I opened it. So that can happen. Hey, Lisa Kid, good morning. Yes, happy birthday to Elizabeth. Is she here? Is EB here? I want to sing. I want to sing and embarrass her. <laughs> I don't know if she's here yet, but you guys, this afternoon, this afternoon at 4.30, set your alarms, mark your calendars, do something. At 4.30 this afternoon, we have a special guest coming to craft with us. It is not the birthday girl, but uh, it's, it's good. It's going to be a good one. So you won't want to miss it. Uh, there is going to be, we have a new kit we're launching, me and this special guest. So... Um, yeah, is she here? I didn't see that she was here, but good morning. Good morning to everyone who's here. Carol Mike Knight, Sandy Jarman. Hello, Debbie Zerker Fritz and Carrie Hall. We got lots of you here today. Christiana Martin. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Phew. Got that back open. All right. Now here we go. We're going to tie this on here, you guys, just like so. And then what, what we're going to include in today's freebie are four of these little spacer charms okay so you're going to get um <coughs> you're going to get two red two red and two green or it might be um a red a green and two silver it depends depends on how many kits we actually sell today and if i run out of those charms then what we're going to do you guys is we're going to take these and hopefully, if all works out well, we're going to feed it onto here. This is the freebie. We even even talked about the drummers today. Anybody know what the drummers symbolize? Just, just curious. Terry Fitzpatrick, hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying God bless you to me. I appreciate it. Listen, I gave Larry my tweezers. <laughs> 
surprised I gave Larry my tweezers. So I can't really grab it. Let's see if we can push it through. There we go. So we're just putting a little piece on there like that. And then I'm tying a knot. Not the apostles. We did the, we did the disciples apostles yesterday. Uh, that was the 11 was yesterday. The 11 faithful because they consider Judas as a betrayer. So you can put one on each or you can put two on each. It doesn't really matter. But if you take your, so you'll get a, a yard of the sari and you're going to get a, um, four of the, the pieces to put on. So let's see, here's a green one. Might have to push it through again. Seemed like that was the easy way to do it. Oh, we have a lot of points going on here. Let's see. Part of it is my eyes are just not that good, you guys. <laughs> to be doing these little things on camera. And I just pulled it right back off. So I can't wait. Sounds like fun. This afternoon at 4.30, it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. Wait till you see. Okay, so you can put them equal. You can move them up, down, whatever you like to do there. I'm going to scoot this one up a bit. And then you, you got to tie a knot. If you don't, they'll end up falling off. You can use these anywhere in your book. You don't have to use them on the charm pieces like I'm doing. But there we go. So there's two there. And let's put here. You're trying to wake up. Whew. I've been trying to wake up all morning too. Um, okay, so the let's do our little spiel. This is the last day for the 12 days of Christmas journal, you guys. We are going to have um, bookmakers. Um, you got to give me a bit, bookmakers, to clear my desk here and get us back um, up and running, okay? It's the 12 points of doctrine or the Apostles' Creed. That is correct. Kim Fogel, did you go Google that? I should have said it like Deborah. No Googling now. No Googling. Um, okay, so other well-known Christmas songs. The 12 Days of Christmas um, is a very old carol that dates back to, yep, the 1500s, you guys. We've been learning that all these 12 days. I should have had a quiz at the end. See who was paying attention. Um, it's dating as far back as the 1500s. According to church tradition, the Christmas celebration lasted 12 days. And um, it began on Christmas Day and extended to Epiphany, the traditional date for the visit of the three. We three kings of Orient are. All right, so I have my sorry. <laughs> you Googled it last week? Okay, so here's our here's our little... These are the extras, a yard of sari and four little um, shiny charms for on there. Okay, today is the drummer. Um, the, uh, doo -doo -doo. In the 15th and 16th century, counting songs were popular and a song about the 12 days of Christmas was equally as popular. Um, the 12 days is more than just a cute counting song and it has a rich symbolism in regards to Christian teachings. Um, French hens, geese laying, what do those things have to do with the doctrine um, or with um, the Bible? So, uh, maybe not a whole lot, but the song was also used as a teaching tool um, for remembering important aspects of church doctrine. And here is what the 12 gifts stand for. We're going to go go through all 12, okay? So, just as if y'all can sing if you want to. Sing if you want to. Right, Larry? Oh, yeah. Do you know the 12 days? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, the 12 drummers drumming symbolize the 12 points of doctrine from the ancient Apostles' Creed. The, uh, you'll Google it. Uh, the 11 pipers piping is a representative of the 11 faithful disciples because they consider Judas as a betrayer. Uh, the ten lords leaping stand for the ten commandments. Nine ladies dancing are the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I have a question. Who watched the silly video about the fruits of the Spirit? Um, I played it for Alara. And when the watermelon came on, Alara did not like the watermelon. And she started to cry. So, uh, eight maids of milking are the eight beatitudes. Um, the seven swans a-swimming are representative of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. 
Six keys laying are the six days of creation. Five golden rings represent the first five books of the Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Uh, four calling birds are the four Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Three French hens um, stand for faith, hope, and love, which are the primary virtues taught in the New Testament. Two turtle doves refer to the Old and the New Testaments. And the partridge in a pear tree refers to Christ giving his life on the cross to um, save us from our sins. And the my true love in the song is a reference to God. Um, so each of the following um, were to be following gifts are to be understood as gifts from God. So these 12 things are all gifts from God. <laughs> the fruit of the spirit is not a coconut. <laughs> okay. So freebie gift of the day is a yard of the sorry and, um, do, 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 uh, and four little charms. Okay. Here's our little drummer. Now we're not cutting down a bag today. You guys, we don't have to, um, this baby is full. We're about to make it a little fuller. So we're using the back side of, of this. So we're taking this. Which if I didn't want it to come off, it would have went bazooming. And the back cover are the two things that we're using to wrap up our 12 days. Now you're getting 12 bags, but you know, I was curious. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you're really only using eleven bags, but you could stick that twelfth bag in there if you really wanted to have an extra page for something, um, just to put something fun in, or it doesn't matter. You could do whatever you like, right? Because it's your things once you get them. Okay, so uh, if you wanted to know what came in the kits, go back to the um, one of the first videos and see all what came in it and then each day had bonus pieces so oops sorry oh you thought it was so cute you passed it on yeah and that's a listen that's been a bit okay if you like if you like okay i'll just put a disclaimer but only if you want to um okay so we have our bulb pin for today somewhere on this desk is a little drum that um, I bet was saving and I have definitely misplaced it, but I'm adding a little one of these sequins and then I was going to put the little drum and then this little tiny jingle bell that has been hanging out on this desk for ever and a day. Um, so the, the little drum charm will fit on there. Okay. In your little kit, you got these little boxes, these little tins that had stuff in it like these clips. And I realized today We've done literally nothing with these two little clips. So I want to do something with the clips. First of all, you got a lot of different ribbons and stuff in your kit. Use whatever you like. Okay, today I want to use some of this gold. Um, I don't know. This gold just reminds me of like symbols and stuff like that. Um, you're going to make Joe this book? That's awesome. So this is very slick. Okay, so see when I pull it, how it slides back? That's because it's a silky ribbon. This is my favorite kind of ribbon. When I was a little kid and I used to get sick, I used to rub it in my fingers all the time. Let's turn this on. And um, so that is that. Then you have this itty bitty teeny tiny clip right here. You can do something similar with, with some smaller. Okay, so here's some smaller. This little green... And we're going to just do this. Do, 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 do. Okay. And just like so. I'm just slipping the. Whoops. That did not work. The whole paper clip just turned and just messed with me. Just give it a pull. And then you have these little tiny clips. And you can put these wherever. It does not matter. Wherever you want to stick them. They're just fun. Okay. So if you have, say, like this card this little card here and you want to keep it clipped together. These little teeny tiny clips are so cute to do that. So another happy 12 days of Christmas, right? So you can do that. I'm just going to leave that attached to that. And you know, if you buy this book from me, you can move any of this stuff around that's in here. I just put it 
wherever I felt comfortable with it going. So you can add this. And then you also got in your, in your, those little tins, a whole bunch of buttons. And I also realized we have not done a lot with the buttons. So here's, here's my little, my little shadizzle, what I want to do. So I have some of this and we're going to just add, we're going to add some glue back here. We're going to give this a pull. Then we're going to add some of this and this button that's been hanging out back here. And I'm going to glue that all together. And then this is just going to clip somewhere in this book. It could be, you know, we could put it on this page right here. So I was debating back and forth about my drummer and where did I want my drummer to go? Did I want my drummer to go on the bag part or did I want to keep it kind of consistent going across here? First, we're going to cover this with some Christmas paper. So, um, I, we're going to use this. We're going to use this doo -doo -doo right here. Um, and we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it to fit this. So I'm waiting for my glue machine to finish um, heating up and we're going to do, we're going to do it. Um, okay. So this is six and a half by eight and three quarters. So I need eight and a half by six and a quarter. So let's do six and a quarter. And we're going to flip this this way and we're going to go eight and a half. Okay. And then that's going to give us the framework for our book. Okay. So here's the little book cover and we're going to go with this. This is going to go right on here. Okay. And then we're going to add something here. And I've been going back and forth and debating, what do I want to stick there? Do I want it to be paper? Do I want it to be something. I do want it to be a pocket. Okay. So I do have this really pretty bow bunny paper and, um, let's just take a look here and see what's going to look pretty awesome here. Those ornaments are just the shadizzle in my opinion. Those ornaments are fun too. What do we have here that's already out? We have this. This would work. We could have this bark for that side over there. And we could have these ornaments for the back side, the back cover. Whoops. And how about how about some blue? Anybody feeling some blue? These are snowflakes, but that's okay because it's wintry, Christmassy stuff. Okay. So we're going to create a pocket from paper. You can create a pocket. What's up? I said we can try it. We can try it. Well, you know what? That's half the fun is getting it wrong, right? Whenever you whenever you're ready. Cuz we'll just take a little break from what I'm doing and they will love that special treat. He's working up a special treat out there for you guys. Okay, so we're going to glue this down. Okay, just like so. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and then uh, the snowflakes are going to be our pocket. Okay, so I need to cut this to six and a quarter. Okay, and then however deep, come to the doorway if you can. Um, I can give you a place. Oh, hello. I've never done this song before, so. Right here, you put your tablet. It won't slide from there. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. So I got my six and a quarter. We're just going to cut it to whatever size pocket we want, but our pocket has to be big enough to fit this so we're just going to cut it down to four and a half okay so that's pressed down i'm going to glue three sides here while we're doing our little special treat for you three sides to create a pocket and we're going to put our guy over the top here so if y'all are ready, Larry's going to play guitar. We do not own the rights to the song. We are just singing along. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me 
a partridge. Here's the words if anybody needs them. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. Bum, bum, bum. Third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Got a, got a scroll here. Oh! oh. True love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> this my true love gave to me five golden rings. Ba 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 ba. Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. They don't have all the chords are for me, I gotta tell you. Oh no. <laughs> On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Six wants to swim in six geese a lane. Five. Not gonna well. <laughs> gold rings. Four calling birds. French hen, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And we'll go to the eighth one. <clears throat> On the eighth day of Christmas, there's natural updates to me. Eight maids a milking, not in swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> true love gave to me. He's dancing, seven maids and milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five gold rings. Four calling birds. French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <clears throat> what day are we on? We are. No, 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 no. We're on the tenth. Ten, ten. We're on day ten. Day ten. They're enjoying this. True love gave to me ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying. Five gold rings. I got a point over my here. Four, four, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And we're gonna go to eleven here now. Yeah, I know that's a long. I should have had you here scrolling. Oh goodness gracious. <laughs> Day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven pipers piping, landlord a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. All right, last verse. Woo! Let's see if we can mess it up good. Ooh. True love gave to me twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leap, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Hey, you want to know a fun fact? What? 
what? I'm saying <laughs> that's a long song when you get stuck. You know? <laughs> twelve, one to twelve. You betcha. Um. I'm singing five gold rings. You're singing five golden rings. You know, neither of us is wrong. Because we're both golden. They're both golden. <laughs> well, we learned about that on the fifth day, about how the song it was golden, and then it morphed over into gold, and there's so many versions of the song that neither is wrong. It does say golden on this version, but... Good to know that neither rings. is wrong. It is right. Neither is wrong. Neither. Yeah, good, that's great. Okay, so while we were doing that, uh, you guys, we don't own the rights to the song. We're just doing a little teaching on it. And I wanted, woo, got glue all over me. Hey, Sherry. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the encouragement. I have never I'm glad you guys. Before, and I do not own the rights to it. Hey, they were singing along with it. They were singing along. Yeah, we're just a uh, creative license there, you know, you guys. Um, Facebook gets a little testy with, you know, rules and stuff like that. It is a song from the 1500s, I'm pretty sure. Um, and we're not doing, like, a cover band or anything like that. So, you loved every second of Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so I just put this on there because I wanted to use this, but it's not going to go all the way around. So, I need to do a little trim work um, on the box of ornaments here. So, um, we're going to trim that down. This is the back cover, you guys, and we're going to trim a little bit off here. And uh, we're just going to frame it out kind of like that. And I thought we might do a little a little sideways. This is the outside back cover that we're working on right now. And Larry has a little story. And while he's telling you his story, I'm going to fussy cut out the 12 days of Christmas. And we're just going to put this on the bottom in the back here. So you like tearing us sing? That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, um, I, d I definitely, a song to teach you how to breathe while you're singing. Yeah, exactly. That's a breathing yeah, song. Make you breathe. Today's meaning was, um, it symbolizes the 12 points of the doctrine from the ancient apostles creed. So working at the school, working at the school, doing lunch duty. Oh, okay. this is fun. I know this a little story. girl named Tiffany, little blonde haired girl and her and her friend. I can't remember what her friend's name was. But they would sing that song at lunchtime. And it didn't matter because it was that noisy in there. You couldn't hear anything but the noise. But they would sing it. And every time they get to that five golden ring, they go, five golden. And they'd really stretch out that rings. And they move their heads back and forth. And they were, you know, so special. So, yeah. Brings back a memory of Tiffany. It's just special. It's and how long ago was that? Because Tiffany is college now. So that's a long. That's Yeah, that's a long. That's quite a bit ago. ago but I, I'll never forget that. You know how special that was. That is. This time was always special at the school because he did all their little projects and put them on the walls. And you you would stop and look at them when you're walking by. Yeah, Christmas is always celebrated so nice at the school. Yes. <laughs> they want to do a hundred bottles of beer on the wall next. <laughs> okay. Ninety nine bottles. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so someone did just send me a private message asking about the meaning of the 12 days. Um, I have this. I'll do a copy and paste um, of what each of the meanings were. So that way, if you want to, um, I'm going to print it out again, and I'm going to include it with this book. So it'll be tucked into one of the pockets. Okay, we got to get moving, or we're never going to get to book club today. Woo! I got to go in the shop, okay? Okay. Don't forget, I need some of those little bags. Okay, so two things that, well, we have three things going in the shop. You have to wait till 4.30 for the one thing, okay? Uh, but I'm going to tell you what the other things are. We have packs of bulb pins, the B-U-L-B pins, wherever I have mine that I was uh, getting ready to use today here. These little pins here, packs of 50 in a variety of colors um, will be hitting the shop today. Also um, hitting the shop today are some corners, the corners like we used on the front, those little um, corners that we squeezed. They're going to be a variety of sizes and colors, um, 99 bottles of soda on the wall, 99 bottles of Mountain Dew, if one of those bottles should happen to fall, I don't know the rest of the song, do you? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're not putting anything extra fancy on the back back here, except for um, I have these bags. And these are just 
treat bags, treat sacks that you can get at uh, uh, Michael's Hobby Lobby. And they have a little window in them so that you could see what's in what's in the bag. Okay, so we're going to just, we're cutting, we're trimming it down. I'm taking the edges off. Hold on. I have one too many things on my desk here. I'm, I'm kind of glad the this book is done today because it is so um, just... Yowza, it's full. It's full and the, the desk is having it. So see this pretty, pretty stuff right here? We're going to use that. We're going to cut this off. So it's kind of like a glassine bag is what they're called. And let me just see. We got, that was six and a half. We're going to cut this up to six inches. Nope, six and a quarter is what I'm going to cut it. Six and a quarter. Oh, I knew it was going to do that, stinker. All right, let's just get my... Oh, it's coming apart. Okay, hang on a second. Do I have another one of these? I do. I just want the little glass window out of it is what I want. So, there we go. There we go. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, it's I hear it raining. It's raining outside. It's a raining outside. <laughs> Ruth Buckwalter, I didn't even know you were here, friend. So glad to see you. Are you back from your trip? Was it amazing? I bet it was amazing. Okay, so that is three quarters of an inch. So let's just take that down like so. Okay, so we cut this all apart. Because I just want the little glass, the little glass bag part. And I should have waited to do this part. Let's lift this. Am I gonna lift that up? Am I gonna I was gonna do it this way. We can do it that way. So we're just going to trim this off up here, like so. We should be able to do it. Hold, please. Hold, please. All right, there we go, six inches. So we're just going to add this right here like this. We have this pretty, pretty... This is our back cover. We have to put our holes in out. Am I doing it the right direction? Whew, thought I had it upside down for a second. Um, and we're just going to put this. Now, you could stamp along here. You could add whatever you want. We're going to add some laces and some trims. Okay, so we're going to take this. Um, we're going to use this. This is liquid glass. Um, close to my heart sells this. I'm going to be today at 430 with my guest. We're going to be giving away... Um, it was good, but you wouldn't do it again. Okay. I understand that. So we're going to use this liquid glass to glue this pocket down. Okay. So that way, um, it sticks to the glassine part or the, the little plasticky part and, uh, it's going to make it good. And we're just going to put this in place like so. Okay. And whoo, here are the thunder boomers, you guys. We have some of this and we're going to add some trim work. So we're going to add some pretty trim work here and here. Let's cut this straight across. Okay, here comes the glue machine. And then I think this little um, pocket will be perfect for our... Um, uh, the little email thing that I have there with the the days and their meanings. So, um, yeah. All right. And we're, and we're going to fold it. We'll fold it all up. In fact, I think I'm just going to include the one that I had here, guys, that I've been using. Even though it has my handwriting, it has my handwriting right here. And it does have my email, so in case you want. Look, there's when we kind of started. All right, we're going to add this here and then we're going to put some, I'm going to put some lace little whoop, down here at the bottom. Um, as soon as I see what lace I want to grab, I think I like this. 
this is going to be nice and frilly frou-frou and it will stick out from the bottom and I'll be very happy with that. That storm just kind of blew up out of nowhere. Boy, am I glad I didn't have my clothes on the line. I was about to hang clothes on the line this morning and I thought, eh, we're supposed to get rain. It's only a 12% chance this morning, but I don't want to take the chance and forget because I would do that. I would be the one to hang the clothes out there and then all of a sudden be like, oh man, it's raining. Okay, you know what? You have to stick your pin back in your um, liquid glass. Uh, it does come with a cap, but the cap does not keep it from drying in the tip. So just keep that in mind. All right, so there we go there. We have that and that. And we're gonna fold up this part here and we're gonna slide it down into there. And um, let's just do it this way. Actually, you know what? We're going to go this direction. Like this. And like this. So we're just including it. And again, whoever purchases this, um, this book, it, you're going to get, you're going to get what you get here. And you can take out from the bag from the pocket, whatever you, if you want to put something else in there. Let's see. Oh, geez, that's not going to fit. We have to fold it smaller, you guys. We have to get it smaller. Do, 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 do. And you know what? Larry's over in the shop. <laughs> he's going to get a wet tushy coming back, I think, or he's going to hang out over there till it stops raining. I'm not entirely convinced that he took... Yeah, I'm going to have to fold it a little smaller um, to get it happening in there. It's not wanting to, to slip in. This time it should. I think I, just, I can't see is part of my problem. And I think I'm trying to slip it in where it's not going to slip. Yeah, we have to just. Give me a second here. All right, so there's the email with the stuff and the and the stuff and the stuff. OK, so here we go. This is our back cover. I go straight across here. And here's our frontage schmunches. And that's going to hang down from the bottom of the book because, you know, hey, why not? Right? Let's scoot it up a bit. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So that's the back part of our page. Here's our interior, and I don't know where I put my, I, listen, I had, here they are, I was like, I had that, I had that. Okay, so you can tuck the, that anywhere. Yep, you could trim it, you could, um, I'm going to put it up on the page so you could print it out, you guys, and uh, add it to wherever in the book that you like. Okay, so let's just hole punch here hole punch here okay and then we just have to add our drummer guy right here's our drummer we're gonna add him there and then we have this over here we're gonna trim this up you guys and then I have um we can use the snowflake paper as our little pocket there and we have to do our journal card yet for this so I just got fixated on that back cover I went with an idea there you guys I just kind of ran with it <laughs> so um let's see oh we have this lane here that I was don't want to lose the pieces to okay so what you want to do is add a little bit of a little bitty glue kind of down in your hole down there and then give it a tug up um not a lot you don't need a lot but you just need enough that when you pull it it's going to help to keep it in place right extra off so we don't end up burning our finger right then flip it 
And on this kind of like backside back here, give it some glue there. Okay, and here's our piece of cheesecloth that's dyed and our and our button. Okay, we're just pressing that in. So let me just trim this. I want this to go this direction and this one to go the other direction, but it's sneaking away on me. I'm telling you, this like ribbony stuff is very slick to work with. Okay, so there we go, you guys. Look at how, oh geez, I want one. I wanted it to go this direction. I wanted it to be opposite, you guys. There we go. Uh, now it's not going to go anywhere because we added that glue. Okay, so that's important. When you're working with slick ribbon, because slick ribbon is fun. It's pretty. It's nice to work with. Um, and then that's what you can do with your paper clips that are there. Okay, let's get our little dude cut out here. And we are going to add some more lace here, you guys, in a second. We're going to have bookmakers after this if I don't lose... Um, we don't lose any issues. If we have any issues, we'll just do bookmakers tomorrow. Um, we do, are going to have ATC today at 1 o'clock was my plan. And then at 4.30, I got a special guest. You don't want to miss out. It is a Christmas, a Christmas in July project. Ooh, listen to it pounding on the... Can you guys hear it? If you lose me, you know what happened. Okay, so here's our piece here. And we're just adding this here. Well, all those rounded corners, and I just used the wrong corner rounder on the bottom of my drummer. <laughs> Go figure. You guys, can you believe it? Okay. So today I'm using some different cheesecloth. This cheesecloth I bought, and it was like not the right stuff, but look at how awesome it is. It's still kind of cool. So I'm just going to grab me some of it okay and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay it down I think we're getting hail we are we're getting hail oh my goodness gracious and we're just gonna glue this right over the top now this is a pocket over here and we're just gonna glue our piece so I'm using Fabri-Tac, and we're going right over the top, you guys. It sounds relaxing. It sounds stress. Oh, you know what? Stop, Jimmy Lou. Stop. Reverse. Go back. We want to add a, a rivet. Some of these, some of these crafters calling these rivets are getting me confused, and now I've been calling them that. So let's do a white one. They're eyelets, you guys. They're called eyelets, not rivets. Rivets are different. Okay, so there we go, onto there. And then um, I'm just gonna use some of this gold. And we're just gonna go through here. And we're gonna tie a knot, you guys. And then I'm gonna find my little um, charm that is for the drummer you know I think I better not that because it's slick um, I have not gotten a message from you Judy Moore are we missing something message me again try it again okay so there's our pieces that's starting to dry but we can get it all right, so we're doing the fabric tack right over top of the this, and it's going to hold it down, you guys. We're just going right over the top. Just give that a press, and we're going to give that a snug and a tug. All right, so I'm going to find my little charm that is my drum, and we're going to add it on to this, okay? But for right now, listen, I have these on here backwards. Ooh, now it's coming down. Yeah, it's coming your way, Ruth, I think, because it came from the West. All right, so there we go, and we're just going to put this right through our little knot there. And then we have, the, when the drum is on there, it's going to be even cuter, you guys. So there's our there's our page for that on that side. Okay, now we're going to do this side, and we're going to get this cut up. 
And we're going to use that because I'm kind of pulling it all together today. We have a piece of this left over. So I don't know if you can see over here. You ordered the principles and you didn't get them. Did you check your spam folder? All right, so I just tied that in a little knot on the thing over there because we're going to do more of that here in a second. All right, we're going to trim this down to five and three quarters and then by seven and a quarter is what we've been trimming these to. Okay, and then we're just taking the snowflake piece and we're going to trim that down to five and three quarters. Okay, and then we needed an inch, you guys, because we've been using an inch. Okay, and this is going to go there. And then we're going to add a little bitty bit, a little bitty teeny bit, a teeny bit of the this stuff. Okay, and... There was something else that I was going to stick on there, and it's one of these. Please send rain. Yeah, so many places need rain. We are actually kind of like, we're rain soaked here. Like, it's very mushy. We got mush mush happening here. And you know what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of this, too. From the cover from our 12 days and we're just going to do this and just make a little tiny cluster so let's glue so anybody have any plans for today i went to the dentist yesterday i had a funeral yesterday um i i the dentist poor dentist said to me because i had um there was a little problem with one of the teeth being overly sensitive and he said oh, i hope you're doing something fun after this and i said i'm going to a funeral he said, oh, no. I said, well, if I go get a vaccine yet today, it'll round out a nice, uh, smooth day for me. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, my we laid, we laid my brother-in-law to rest yesterday. A lot of people had a lot of nice things to say about him. So, uh, yeah, there was that. All right, we're going to add a little bit of Fabri-Tac here. And here's our stringity piece that we're putting there. And then this is going right over the top like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot glue on this because that's going to hold it down even more. Okay, because see how it's like jumping around and it's wanting to stick to my finger and stuff like that. We're just going to make it happen. We're making it happen, you guys. Just like so. Okay, ooh, hot, 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 hot tamale, hot tamale. Okay. So, uh, we've been using different things for our journal cards, uh, and I have some of this red stripe, and I think we're going to, let's go with this. This looks like something fun to, to build on, and we have our little drummer here, but uh, all I want from the drummer is, I just want part of it, Okay. Uh, part of his shoulder is sort of missing, and that is from whatever was next to him. But that's okay, because we're going to, again, we're going to make a little cluster here. And we're just going to add him. I think we're going to add him over here. And we're going to put him behind a trimmed off piece of this. Let's see, he is two inches, so if we do three, that ought to be a good amount. So we're working on our journal card now, so we're gonna, we're just gonna make a little cluster piece. So we're gonna put that there. We're gonna put him here. He's actually, we can go up a little bit. And then we're gonna add some things there. Okay, so some things like this really stringy um, cheesecloth. It's very stringy. We can stick behind him like so okay and then we can add a button or I, th I think a button is a good thing i'm saying him but it could be a little girl too and I, if somebody's gonna recommend drumsticks i don't have drumsticks i'm really sorry but um i think it will look cute like that i do have one of these 
yellow ones like we used the other day. I don't like that one. Um, and this, oh, this one's fun. Look at this one, you guys. I think that's the one. That's the one. Okay, so this has a little clip on the back side. We're just going to bend it over or yank it out. Toothpicks would make a good drummer thing. Yes, for sure. So I don't want to cut that off completely because it's holding on the piece on the front out there. So you could definitely add drumsticks if you wanted to. Um, let's just, I want to just, I want to just woof this out. Yeah, toothpicks. You can definitely, I don't have any toothpicks. Like I don't, that is not something I should have took some from the meatballs yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had my drumsticks. And we're going to glue this right onto there. And we're just adding that onto there. Okay. Just like so. And then here's our little, our little piece there. Just... Making a cluster is fun because you can hide pieces that are like this. Okay, so you have a piece that's accidentally cut out. That's okay. Just add a little glue. boop -a doo Drop in a button. That's kind of cool. Then we have we have those those three to four elements: a focal point, cloth, paper, and you know something extra. So. <sighs> <laughs> that's fun that's fun okay so then on the back side here the 12th day is the apostles creed so okay there we go so then if you get this you guys if you get this book or you make your own how fun was this okay so that can go in there and let's get it all in the woo, let's get it all in the book. We're not done yet. We have stuff to add yet. So um this is this way. Oh, hold on, there's something inside of it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna drop this here. And this one up here. Just like so. And now it stopped raining, you guys. And we can add these into our book. But here's our two-page spread, you guys. All right. And then we have a uh, somewhere. Here it is. We have this. So we can take this. And we can just scoot this up a bit. And we can clip the paper clip right on there. It's going to hold that in place, too. Um, if you turn it the opposite direction this way, um, it still looks pretty on this side. You could add a gem or you could add another button there if you want to. Entirely up to you. Let's see. That looks like it wants to live there. Right from, ooh, right from the desk. In all its nakedness, you guys. Ooh. Let's press that down. Okay, here we go. Yay. Are you ready? You ready? Who's ready, ready, ready? I'm ready. Okay, so I'm opening up my rings. Okay, and I'm adding my back cover first. If I can find the edge of the ring. And then I'm adding my, see how I'm holding? I'm holding on to the ring here so it doesn't pop off. Okay, and then we're putting this piece on and closing it, closing it. Okay, then we're opening this up. Now, if you, if you decide that your book is it, you're not adding any other pages to it, um, you can take some E6000 and put it on the rings and pull it and let the E6000 just set. Um, um, yes, the extras, the little freebies that came each day, I am going to be offering a bundle. You have to wait till Friday. The little wreaths are not here. That's what we're waiting for. So you'll get like all of the things that one thing, there was 12 little things that came each, uh, I'll have to go back and rewatch and see what all of them were exactly. But um, we're going to put them into a bundle. And yes, you can buy the extras, especially if you got a kit and you want them. Uh, I'm flipping this back so we can take a look through this. 
and then we're going to do our rings, okay? So here was our first day. The partridge in a pear tree. And then here are the little extra cards that we made, you know, throughout using the extra pieces. So these go in here. You can, uh, if you have the bags and the other stuff and you want to, you guys can totally add in... Um, extra journaling cards totally here's the journaling card from day one with our partridge there's some of our little charms and i realized we didn't add a lot of like extra things hanging off the edge but that's okay you don't have to here's our glitter piece that we added from day two with our two turtle doves and we're just tucking that in this direction. You can put it in here. These are also pockets here. And I'm going to show you something here in a second. Um, I'm not adding a bunch to the bags, but you can cut card. In fact, I'm not going to add any. You can cut cardstock to fit down inside if you want to add a bigger journaling card. Here's our ATC card from day three with the three French hens. Over here, we got our four calling birds with our journal card and I think this was the freebie for this day or the little things there and uh, check this out five gold rings with our little rings this is a was a freebie so you'll get five pieces of rings oh I'm sorry So I'm not, I'm not selling everything extra like this. I don't have enough of this um, pretty, pretty trim work here to do it. So um, I do want to say a special thank you to my friend Cynthia from Guided Creation. She, uh, I said to her, I want to offer a, a principle uh, in a kit. Can you come up with something for me? I told her what I was looking for. She took the 12 days of Christmas and she created all of these tags for us to use. Now, tomorrow... We're going to do one extra thing with the tags. I need to print off another set of tags for myself. We're going to make a book just using the tags. So a small book. So if you got the kit, you also got a printable. And check this one. This one is probably my favorite um, because we created a pocket with the tag to stick in a pocket, which is just fun. Um, but tomorrow... Uh, during a live tomorrow, we're going to create a book using just the tags, okay? So if you get a kit, you get access to the file for um, for the little... Uh, to do. If you don't want to buy a kit at all, you can buy just the printables. So, yep, there are... Some, now listen, anytime that you come on and you see and you want a kit and you go over to order a kit, if there are no kits... You can private message me and I'll upload more to the shop. Here's the thing, though. The free extras end at midnight tonight. So if you get the free extra from today, that ends at midnight tonight. And then the kits just come with the regular stuff that was offered. So we put some lace on here. Here's our Lords of Leapin'. And here's our piece here. This keeps falling out of there. And I'm not sure why, but... Hello. Okay, so here's our Piper, and the last one was our drummer. And we created our own little pocket there. The back side in the pocket, I tucked the, the pieces. Now listen, this is tight. I'm not going to lie to you. It is, it's pretty full, okay? So what you do then to close it was we added this um, tool to come around, and you just want to give it a tug. Pull it down, and we're going to tie it pretty tight. It's going to slip up a bit when we, when I let go, but that's okay. And um, there's our book. Look all nice and pretty. And now we're going to add just any extra stuff that you had. Um, hang on. Let's scoot this around. I need to scoot. Don't you open. <gasps> Did that open on me? Oh, I hope not. Stay close. There we go. Okay, scoop that around. There we go. Okay, and then here's this piece here. So here's our rings, okay? So to make our book just look fun, you can add the extras. So I sent a lot of ribbons, laces, that kind of stuff to go along, plus whatever you might have. Whoops. 
whatever you might have laying around. I have some pretty laces, um, stuff that we used in the kits. Those are also things you can use. Hold on. Some of my stuff is on the floor, not even joking. Um, brother. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so what you can do then is take your extra ribbons, okay, and just cut them in half. So this is the 12 Days of Christmas kit. We do have a kit that uh, my special guest and I are going to be launching later today. Uh, it is a Christmas ornament kit. Uh, so you're going to want to check that out. 4.30 today. 4.30. Mm -hmm. Special guest. Special guest in the craft room at 4.30 today. All right. I'm pulling back over. All right. Really? It's did really you get crazy. wet? It was hailing a second ago. I know it was. How did you know that? Did you hear it I like heard that? it. You could hear yeah, it. Yeah, you could see it. I it was, the garage door. It was dinking. It was dings all over the garage door. It was. Oh, did you? Okay. So yeah, there's. So just give them a, t a tug and a pull and whatever you like, okay? Add the little extras. This is just fun. It's just decorative, okay? So I sent an ample amount of ribbons and laces in the kits. Uh, use some of what you have too, okay? You really enjoy, I know, for the 12 days, right? And I almost, you guys, I almost did this as pre-recorded videos and then decided to do it as lives. So, yeah, there was that then, right? Okay, so where's my kitty cat fabric? Okay, so the kitty cat fabric was yesterday's freebie, but it has so many, um, I know it has the cat faces, but it has so many pretty um, Christmas colors that I think, you know, it, we can get away with it. So, um, just, you're going to hear me ripping it. I like to rip it, rip it. So that we can add more. You guys, if you have Christmas fabric or any other kind of fabric, you know, laying around your house, grab it, use it, enjoy it, all of those things. Um, what is this? Ooh, look at this. This is this is something. I think uh, Cheryl Miller might have sent me this, you guys. Ooh. Okay, so the in-person event that I was going to have, um, we had to postpone it. Um, the death in the family just kind of pushed us a little more than we could handle. Plus, the hotel that I was trying to use was being duty heads, okay? So, we're just going to tie this on there. So, um, we ended up, we're going to move it. So, it's going to be uh, September, end of September, early October. You guys, the in-person event is a little golden books event. So, you will come, you'll get a golden book. There'll be paper, there'll be all kinds of junk journal stuff there um, for you to use and have fun with. Uh, you'll get some tutorials from me live in person and, um, you, we're just going to hang out and it's going to be like a crop. Okay. Remember the old time scrapbook crops? It's going to be like that. Okay. So there we go. Look at all of our pretties. Let's add some more of this yellow because I love that the yellow is adding a little bit of different color to the front. Wow, Sandy, that's great. That is super duper. Okay, here's some of this. So then remember, you can add stuff like charms and dangles to your pieces. We already did it to, to this one back here. You can do more of that. I'm going to add one more of that up here um, is what I'm going to do. Let's cut that off. I'm done with that. Whoa, I'm breaking a sweat now, you guys. Jimmy's breaking a sweat. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying it. Okay, so you could tie them in knots. You can tie them in bows. You could do whatever you like for these, okay? So I just want to add, the freebie today was the sari, the sari silk. Um, I'm going to add a piece at the top here and a piece at the bottom. I'm going to do the exact same thing that we did when we first came on. And that was, I added um, those spacers these here. I added these charms onto the ends. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. You guys, do I have this here to go down here? Oh, Jimmy Lou. I think it's because I'm excited because the book is done. The 
Book is done. All right, so there we go. And um, I'm not going to make you suffer through watching me do it again, but you guys can add the uh, seam binding sorry silk stuff. I can't remember if it's sorry or if it's, I think it's sorry. Um, so there are a few kits left. I'm going to add a couple more. We're going to put some of these charms on there. So if you get, if you order a kit today, the kit, the link is in the description of the video. You are going to get a, a yard of the sorry, and you're going to get four, uh, little charms here for on your thing. And then it'll either be red and green or gold and silver and all of those things. So, um, I think this time we're going to add, Woo! hello, come back here. There's two red. And I think I'm going to go with two, like, gold and silver ones. And you can buy these on ugh, a lot of places. Amazon. You can go to the Hobby Lobby. To the Hobby Lobby you can go, you guys. And um, you, can, uh, you can buy these little pieces. Okay, so see how I just slipped that on there? There's a green. And here's a gold. I'm going to do a gold and green on this one. So I'm just using a hairpin and I'm just poking it through you guys. Just give it a tug. It'll go. Eventually it'll go. It should anyways. Wow, that is a good deal. All right, so I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to tie this off right there. Nice and high. And then we have those little charms on there, right? And then the other one, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do a red and a, and a silver. Or a red and a... Okay. Do, 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 do. Hello, Sherry! Alright, so I'm putting the silver one on first. Yep, at Hobby Lobby, ask for bead spacers. That's what they're called. They're called bead spacers. And they're meant for, like, on jewelry and stuff. You just stick them between beads. But um, we've just been using them for all different kinds of stuff, haven't we? <laughs> yes, we have. All right. There we go. Hello, Sherry. So there's our two pieces there. And I'm just tying them a little lower than the other ones. So... Oh, that's awesome, Sherry. I mean, Sandy. All right, so there's our pieces there. So those just hang and dangle and do all the things. And you can add more. You can trim them back. You don't have to do this part at all. If this is not something that you like, then don't do it. Uh, it's a you thing. Okay, so you do you. Um, this one here, I'm just going to add one of each onto. You can tie on some more bells. You guys, I should have got out my my bell collection they're around here somewhere i like my bells yeah i can post the link again all right there's that one i said i wasn't going to make you suffer through watching this because i i was my plan was to get in bookmakers at 11 we've got i'm hearing thunder in the background again who <sighs> again you guys Let's see. Do, 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 do. Um, there's something else I was going to tell you guys. Well, we'll see each other at 4.30. Oh, bookmakers. What time is it? I was going to do bookmakers at 11, but it's almost 12. Um, and that's because I knew this was going to take us longer, but we had an important phone call that we had to do. We had to take, and it came right at, right at just before 10 o'clock. And I said to Larry, shoot. So, okay, hold on. This one is, this one's putting up a fight, you guys. I don't know either, sure. Because Facebook is weird, that's why. <laughs> Facebook is weird. It's strange. So if you have anything... Um, you got charms left that you maybe didn't use from the kit. Um, you can clip them, bulb pins. You can add them on uh, to the to the edges out here, and they just 
look fun. Uh, anything like, you know, any of the note cards, if you want to have something dangling and hanging, buttons are a fun thing to add on there. Um, I probably am going to get some more Jingle Bells and add some more Jingle Bells, but you guys get the general idea of what you want this to look like. I think it needs some green, so I'm probably going to find some green um, ribbon. Um, it's way over there, you guys. Um, I'm probably going to find some green ribbon and stick some green on here. I don't think I have any back here. I don't. I do have this, though. Oh, I didn't even think to use some of this in this book. This would have been great in this book. Some, because it's a saw. Okay, hang on. It's getting hung up because it's bigger. But that's okay. And don't worry, the book will open and close just fine with all of the ribbon things on there. So... No worries. Okay, you guys. I'll let you go. Uh, bookmakers. Let's move bookmakers uh, today to 1 o'clock. So, because I need to... Listen, I have, I'm have i out of room. And a 10 by 10 album that we're working on is never going to fit on this table. So, bookmakers at, at 1 o'clock. And then we'll do... Right after bookmakers, we'll do the, uh, the ATC. The ATC. Well, we can move ATC to tomorrow, too. Um, so that way I'm not too squeezed in. And then at 4.30, 4.30, mark it down, you guys, that we're going to do a, a live. Uh, I have a special guest coming. So be ready for the special guest. Um, you know, I think, okay, so this is this here. This is this, and this is that. Um, I'm going to open this because we have this. And I was debating whether I wanted to, ah, maybe it's going back there. I don't know. But I think I want to put one of these, um green spacers on there. Okay, maybe we're not. There we go. There's the green. That just gives it a little extra, right? Just make it a little extra. I, I don't know. I think I like it living here. I do think I like it just hanging out there and doing all the things. You can even take some of this chain and hook it onto there. There's some of, I have some of this yet that was left from the other. That can get hooked on there. Like if you open it, you can hook some of that and just let that live and be and do all the fun stuff. So there's lots you can do with the rings to hide them. So, yep, and I need to eat lunch. Yep. Larry's going to want lunch. There's a whole, it's a whole thing. And it's a mess in here. A mess. A total mess, you guys. All right. I really enjoyed this. You guys give me, um, uh, tomorrow I'm going to load a video, um, of the book, a flip through of it. Uh, and then also there's our lace hanging down back here. Also, uh, tomorrow at some point I'm going to come live and we're going to do a book using just the tags from the 12 days of Christmas printables. This has been an amazing amount of fun. Um, I honestly, I, it was tough for me. It made me slow down um, because I typically could do a book like this in a day or two. So, um, you know, it made me slow down a little bit, but uh, it is an absolutely awesome book. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support, whether it's that you purchased a kit or perhaps maybe you um, you shared the video or you were here commenting. Any of those things, they all help. So I do appreciate each of you doing all of those fun things. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you at 4.30. Uh, remember to always be kind, guys, because you never know what someone's going through. And we'll see you all really real soon.